Yo, hey, what is up there, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of The Evolve. How you guys doing on today? Let's just get right into it. Y'all remember when Eminem, I won't be long, I won't be long. Look, but y'all remember when Eminem, he said that, uh, what did he say? He said something along the lines of, uh, yo, Will Smith ain't got a cuss in his raps to sell records. Well, f*** him and f*** you too. Um, you think I give a damn about a Grammy? Most of you critics don't like me, let alone stand me. Stand, stand me, stand me, stand. <laughs> All right, no. <laughs> but Will Smith have responded <laughs> somewhat. Yeah, but Eminem, um, Will Smith uh, recently this week, just two days ago, he explains why he didn't have to cuss in his raps. He finally responded as to why. And um, I say the response was really good. Like, it was a really good story. Um, basically, in his memoir uh, on Wednesday or Tuesday, he stated that, hey, I was frustrated and I actually almost got to the point of hating, you know, the hip hop culture. Um, I hate it. And it was uh, because everyone was saying that I was corny and I was soft and I was weak. It's, it, the bigger I got in hip hop and in rapping, he said um, he goes on to explain that. Sorry, <laughs> he goes on to explain that I uh, I grew up in West Philadelphia, born and raised and I grew. I was I didn't sell drugs. I didn't. I wasn't a gangster. I wasn't a thug. I actually had it good. I grew up in a two parent home. And um, mom had a good job. I had everything. I lived a really nice life and I went to Catholic school. So um, this is why. And then he explained this is why a lot of people were saying that I was fake. You know, I was a fake hip hopper, um, although I was doing hip hop, but I just wasn't a gangster or whatnot. And he said that frustrated me. That made me mad. Came a point where. I did try to fit in, you know, I had notes down and, you know, I was making bangers, you know, this was even the time when he was making a lot of money. Um, but this is where it picks up where Eminem had stated, hey, Will Smith ain't got a cuss in this rap. See, he said that um, he started to write, he started to write songs that was explicit. Um, he want, um, and that had profound, a lot of profanity and whatnot. Well, his grandma happened to see his doodle pad one day um, while she was cleaning and she looked through it. You know, she was reading, you know, his new songs and some of the stuff that he was writing. And she seen all all that, all the all that bad language and everything, all that explicit content that he was trying to and about to make a turn um, to a more gangster appeal because of the atmosphere and what people were saying. Um, she didn't confront him, he said. She never confronted him, but instead she wrote in that book, she wrote a, she wrote a little tab on the side of um, it. And he said that when he got home and he looked in his notepad and he was gonna start writing, he seen her little note. And all it said was, use your gift to uplift people. And still till this day, she never said anything to him about it. She just left that note. And he said that um, from that day on, you know, um, he kind of broke down, I guess, because his grandmom had seen it and seen what he was doing. And um, he decided that day that he would never um, use profanity or anything explicit like that ever again ever in any of his raps he don't need to fit in you know he don't need to conform um i mean and this is the thing you can like the you can like the comfort of tradition um but still you got to challenge the conventional way of thinking and conforming with others and uh so that is that i thought it was a good story i thought it was a good story um, I like to know what y'all think. Uh, not so much on the whole Will Smith, but um, the question is, in hip hop, is there a certain, um, if you're going to be big and really blow up, if you're going to be amongst the 
um, not just millionaires, but I'm talking amongst the, you know, there's only a few billionaires, but I'm talking about that, let's say, breaking that 20 millionaire mark um, and really be famous inside of hip hop or really be famous, or you're on the side of believing that there is a amount of conformity and um, uh, some may say sell your soul that you have to, um, that you have to give into. Um, or do you believe that, yeah, you can do it on your own. You can do it by yourself and reach that type of fandom and that type of fame and fortune all by yourself. I want to know. I want, I, I want to know what you all think on this. You can tell me what you think on the story and whatnot. Um, do you like explicit stuff? I will end with this. I am, um, uh, me, myself... <laughs> I am not big on, uh, I don't use, I, well, I run a organization of kids and whatnot, so I don't use profanity. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll never, you'll never hear me um, every now and then on my videos. <laughs> but I want to know, are you the type, does that bother you? Do you like like super crazy, explicit stuff, profound, profanity, and a bunch of other stuff? Or are you, or is it does not bother you at all? I will say this. I'm kind of in the middle. It really depends on the song. It depends on if there, if it's, if it's hate for the sake of hate and profound and explicitness just for the sake to be explicit and there's no real content or creativity with it. I don't like it. It just sounds like gobbledygool. It just sounds messy. Um, but if there is a creative vibe to it, then, you know, I get down with it. There's a lot of expensive songs that I, you know, especially me being an Eminem fan. Um, but I will say this, um, give you an example of what I'm trying to say is, is that, uh, this is a very unpopular opinion amongst stands and you watching, but I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that song of Eminem. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I think for some of those reasons, there was parts that was just explicit just for the sake. I didn't find nothing creative. It was just bleh. I don't like that song. That's just me. I, I never did. But and then on the other hand, you take a song like Kim. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you take a song like Kim, go listen to that. I love that song for some reason. He's talking about killing. You can hear it in the trunk. It's like, don't make me better than him. And he starts off like, but it was creative. And you were like, oh, shoot, what's happening? And you felt in the song. You felt like you're seeing the picture. I'm, he should have made that into a video. Maybe he should not have did a video on that. <laughs> Anyway, I think you guys were sitting down, sitting down on the couch talking to me. Um, I will see y'all. like to know what you think in the comments. As always, KIP, keep it positive. Um, I got a big story coming up. I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to wait for a response, but we'll see. I'll see y'all.